Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to run games on a USB stick on the new C64. What's going on guys? In the last video, I gave my thoughts on the new C64. Well, the C64 emulator, it's not actually a Commodore 64, it is an emulator, but it does a pretty good job. I'm pretty happy with this. I've been playing with it since I got it. I've been using it probably most days. And one of the things that people have asked me and people have mentioned in the comments is about playing USB games on the C64. Now, one of the good things with the C64 is you've got loads of USB ports. We talked in the last video about the fact that it's got three USB ports on the side, you've got another USB port on the back, so you've got four USB ports more than enough to be able to plug in a USB stick leave it there and run games from USB and that's what we're gonna look at today so first thing we need to do is get a USB stick so I've got one of these little bad boys this is 16 gig USB stick any size will work firstly we need to plug this into a computer we need to format this to a FAT32 format and then we can start putting games onto this stick and then we can run them from the C64 which we're gonna look at in a second. So we'll head over to the MacBook and we'll start by formatting this USB stick. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is plug the USB stick into our computer, go to the computer, find the memory stick, and then we need to format this memory stick to FAT32. And if we just do that now, it's formatting. So now our thumb drive is formatted, we're gonna go onto the internet and do a quick search for D64 file. There are quite a few websites where you can find them, there are loads out there, and as you can see there are absolutely loads of games that we can select. So now we have our D64 files on our USB thumb drive, we can go downstairs, plug the C64 back into the big screen TV, back on the floor, and we can see if these games run, and if they run well on our new C64. Okay, so let's power this thing up, and then when it comes on, there we go, we're back to the main menu. We're gonna now plug in our USB drive into the one. I'm putting it into the back USB stuck on this one, and there it goes to the bottom. We get the USB pop-up, there we go. And if we click on that, that brings a list of all the files that I've imported onto this memory stick on. So which one should we load first? Load Bubble Bubble. We've got the classic Commodore loading screen. And here we go, bubble bubble. And look at those lines, it really does take you back to the time when these games loaded like this. And we'll go bubble bubble, so let's load bubble bubble and have a quick game at that. Okay, that iconic bubble bubble music, absolutely love it. Here we go, level one. Let's zoom up here and just zap the little, whatever they are, in the bubbles. Level 1 complete. I remember this game so vividly. I just love playing it. Really addictive arcade style game. The Commodore 64 really made its own. Okay, so we're going to have a look at another game now. So we're, this time we're going to go down to loads. Let's load Paperboy. I remember this one from when I was a kid and I absolutely loved it. So it's loading again. Look at that loading screen. Then we go back on and here we go. It's Monday. I don't know if I can remember exactly how to do this. There's a lot of timing involved in it. So if we hit there, yep, we've got the first paper in the mailbox. Second one, total miss. Onto the payment. Oh, and the Sinclair C5 wiped me out. So we'll continue on there. Back onto the payment. No, I want to miss that one. Avoid the skateboarder. Oh, but I hit the grate and off the bike I go. The last life, the dog. Avoided the dog. Throw another newspaper scoop and get this one in. Yep, we've got that one in. And I hit the worker. Game over. Yeah, I remember that game so well. So now let's try the Bard's Tale. I used to love the Bard's Tale. More of an adventure style game. Very keyboard based. Electronic Arts, we've got the loading screen but nothing else happens. So there we have it. We can play pretty much any game that we can find in D64 image format on our new C64. There were a couple of misfires. There were one or two games where when I plugged them in and tried to run them, the games just froze. They didn't load and didn't play, or I couldn't get them to work properly. Now that is to be expected. A lot of these games are hacks from the originals, so they're not all gonna run perfectly. But if you keep searching, I'm sure there are more than one website. I found two or three websites where we can find the D64 image files. So there probably is working copies of most of the games that you could want out there. And if you're wanting to update the firmware in your C64, and Retro Game Limited will be releasing regular updates to the firmware of this machine, then you would do that by going to the C64 homepage and downloading the firmware onto USB thumb drive, just like we did with the games, and then following the install procedure. It is very easy, it's seamless, 
and it does keep this completely up to the current spec and it keeps it working to maximum efficiency. If you have any comments or questions about the C64, please leave them in the comments below. I will try and answer them and if I don't know the answer, I will try and find the answer for you. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already or if you're new here, I am trying to build the channel and subscriptions really do help. Push that thumbs up button if you like this video and I will see you really soon for another video. Thanks for watching.